back onto the all-weather then for race uh, number eight. This uh, next contest, a class four over the 1650 with fast pace heading the list. He ran on Wednesday night, finished fourth behind E Legend at Happy Valley. Alfred Chan take five pounds off his back. We've got uh, Mission Bravo from Barry 11, probably likely to roll forward though still. He's won his last two starts over the 1650 and 1800 last time out. Nimble Nimbus, the uh, visor goes on for the first time as the cheek pieces come off. Barrier 12 for him. And Harry Bentley, he won back uh, New Year's Day. In actual fact, that was on the turf. Though blotting paper, consistent placed on his last three starts on the all weather. Lady first, uh, still his only win today, has been here over the 1650. Son of Macfee run up on his last two starts on the all weather and at Happy Valley over this trip. And Mr. Arm comes up in class for Victor Wong and Mi Choi from Barry number five. Beaten favourite last time, Nick. He certainly was. Uh, Mission Bravo, though, not uh, not so. He was uh, he was a good winner and uh, he doesn't like to go forward. So uh, he'll want to roll uh, roll on, but he's drawn in gate 11, so he's obviously going to have to cross one or two. Amazing teens can race on the pace and um, he's obviously got plenty of all-weather form. Nimble Nimbus is an interesting one because he, he does like to race forward, but he is having his first go on the all-weather. Has a bit of a gear change as well, so interesting to see if he's got the same impetus from the get-go as he has shown on turf. Blotting paper, as Andrew alluded to there, has been very consistent without winning and obviously fast pace. Paul only ran as recently as Wednesday night. Yeah, Mr. Arm's gone forward in the past. Steel Wind's gone forward in the past. There's going to be plenty of pace in this race, uh, I think, which may, may be able to set it up. So I think, again, everyone will get the opportunity. All right, well, Mission Bravo won his last two starts. Can he overcome Barry 11 and uh, do it again? We'll find out. But this is um, his last win, Paul, with Amazing Teens and Unite Spirits engaged as well. Didn't mind United Spirits run. He, he hit the line strongly. And, of course, uh, Mission Bravo as well. I thought it was a really good uh, run from him. The horse has been in uh, great form, uh, Mission Bravo. So he goes in. I've got to put United Spirit in on a minor line because he does like the surface as well. Yeah, I do like the uh, the aforementioned there. I think he's run home very strongly. Unite Spirit, obviously, no fluke about Mission Brothers. Uh, Seventy-nine to one victory, two starts ago. Cause he's backed it up well there. But uh, Unite Spirit for me is an interestingly you know treated runner. He's he's course and distance winners off fifty-six, rated a few points lower here, and I think with the same impetus uh, finishing off his race as he's shown last time, I think he's a definite player. Well, amazing Teens was actually favourite for that uh, race. Here is Mission Bravo, the previous win, uh, Nick. And as you said, he was 79 to 1 here, but Blotting Paper right on his tail. Yeah, look, good run from uh, from Blotting Paper. For, for mine, really does deserve to win a race. He's he's run third and second twice in his last couple here for, for Richard Gibson. Zach Purton's going to jump on board. Ridden a couple of winners for Richard this season from only eight rides. So I always think that's quite interesting when when obviously trainers go to a jockey that, that they've had a, a decent bit of success with from perhaps limited uh, outings. But a good run there. Look, he was running down the winner. And I think perhaps uh, with an extra bound, Paul, he might have got his head in front. Yeah, it looked that way, didn't it? So, yeah, look, he go, definitely goes in blotting paper. I think he's going to uh, run a pretty good race. And he should be in the right spot as well. What about Son of Macfee, uh, Paul? Runner up on his uh, his last two starts, again encountering that uh, that wet track at Happy Valley last time. It seemed to help him, I, th I think, being by Macfee. I mean, both runs have been good. The second behind Apache Pass wasn't bad either. But just a one-time winner from his 20 starts. Again, this is another really wide-open race, and he's definitely another one of the chances. Yeah, he ran a really good race, two starts back behind Apache Pass. Was only beating a neck behind him uh, on the surface. So, look, he's holding his form well from the all-weather onto the turf last time. So he certainly comes into it with claims, and I think what's going to aid him is a good barrier and a lightweight as well. All right, so we're nods on favourite in the previous ball. Don't think we'll get nods on favourite here. <laughs> we won't at all. This is a wide open race. Look, I'm going to go for something in double figures here. Handsome 12. First start over the 1650. Did catch the eye when finishing him strongly over the surface over 1200 metres, and he should be a decent price and should get the race set up for him. Uh, Blotting Paper, another one who's going really well at the moment. Mission Bravo's won his last two, and United Spirit. We've seen him in plenty of the replays as well. So six, nine, four, and eight. Yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll take your double figure price runner and I'll uh, I'll raise him with mine because I've gone Unite Spirit here. Uh, he's not a bad price at all at this stage. Currently a 12 to 1 chance and I just think the race might be run to suit him here. Plenty of tempo. Uh, Blake Shin, I think the ideal man uh, to, to ride this horse uh, will be held up. He'll come with a late rattle and hopefully he gets his head in front. Uh, Blotting Paper uh, can certainly run a race here. Like the booking of Zach, Mission Bravo goes in. He's done nothing wrong. Hard to leave him out and Son of Macfie, another one uh, in form 8, 9, 4 and 12 in a wide open race. Yeah, well, I'll take your 10 and 12 to 1 shot and raise you a nimble Nimbus who's over 20 to 1 at this stage. <laughs> wide gates, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, he's pretty consistent nimble Nimbus and uh, I think you can get involved in some shape or form. That is race 8, class 4 over the 1650.